I came into college having already thought some about faith and had started going to church a little bit and exploring um, faith and Christianity in high school. But I hadn't really landed for sure anywhere yet and had a lot of questions about um, Christianity and Jesus generally. And I had kind of made this deal with myself and I guess with God that um, I would give my freshman year to trying to answer this question of whether or not I believed in Jesus. So I came in curious and I actually met Northeastern University at the activities fair on campus and my first week on campus and just ran into the student leaders there. Had a conversation with them at the table where they invited me to a large group and to check out their welcome week activities. And one of the activities that they were doing that week was a like dinner out in Chinatown. Um, and that's the first event that I went to with Northeastern IV. So we arrived in Chinatown and went out for dim sum and Edwin, who was a freshman from Hong Kong, uh, kind of quickly took charge of the situation and he kind of hosted me through the evening. He poured my tea, he walked me through the menu, helped me order, um, things like that. And I felt so cared for and hosted by the ways that he walked me through that. Um, and we kind of became friends after that night. I think seeing this multi-ethnic and multinational community that really cared about each other, that were learning about each other in, in these ways, and also really cared about me and my own story, that was all really beautiful to me. And I think I hit this point where I found this picture of what Christian community could look like and this picture of what Jesus was doing um, in our community and you know, on a broader scale in the world really beautiful. And I think I was seeing glimpses in my chapter of what we actually see backed up in scripture in places like Revelation 21, where it says that the kings and the nations will all bring their splendor into the kingdom of God. Hi. Hey. Hi, Taylor. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, well, so that was my first time in the States ever, so it was very scary. And I think that it was very comforting for me because I knew, you know, people that could welcome me as, you know, as an international student. And I could also be part of, you know, something that is uh, American. I was remembering like when we would start meeting for small group and we would just like go and talk to everyone in the student center and invite yeah, them. To Curry, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and I was just thinking about how I think for me, you really like challenged that for me around like, did I really believe that the gospel was good enough news to just like try to invite everyone in the student center and to see what God would do with that. And I think how you generally just with your heart for that actually challenged and led our entire fellowship, including the American students in evangelism and in seeing different parts of the campus that like we would have missed without you there. We are planning a meal for um, a few student leaders and some of my alumni. And Ting, who's uh, one of our students from Singapore, decided to make dumplings for everyone. So I'm just using his list of photos uh, to buy the ingredients, and then he'll be helping us make the dumplings tomorrow. I think if more chapters were open to seeing international students on their campus and really just seeing the other or seeing who's not currently in the room, it would shift the way that we see students discipled because students who have those experiences in college go on to like workplaces, go on to spaces far beyond university and bring with them the ability to cross culture as well and to ask good questions and have curiosity. I feel like that's like the true church <laughs> purpose of the gospel basically is for everyone to come together and understand who this one man creator, Savior Jesus Christ is. Yeah. I think it's also getting to learn how people like approach God. I mean, I read the, different, the Bible differently, but other people see it like differently as well. We all see it from like different angles and we'll be like, oh yeah, this thing was in the scripture. And I'm like, oh really? Yeah, I didn't see it from that perspective before. And then it brings out like very, very fun and different um, conversations from that. 
there was this unity of students trying to come together and pray for each other. And I really appreciate how the Holy Spirit really does move when we remember to put him in our planning. The international students that I get to work with tend to have the highest expectations for how God could move in power here. And I think the fact that they bring a different perspective and challenge our own ways of thinking about ministry or thinking about church and community um, actually make more space for God to do a new thing. And I think if we honor that, like there, there is a possibility that we actually just see more of the power of God in our chapters and on our campuses. Jesus talked to Leviticus with his wife, though. Um, but I'm wondering if that should be what I need to take, or if I should take a poetic message in class. So I'm really learning about Psalms, but like oh, Proverbs. Yeah. I love Proverbs. Um, <laughs> <laughs>